No one rests on their laurels in our industry. We're going to compete on quality. You know, if you're really committed to quality, you're, you're looking at every step through the system. You have to be able to measure what you're doing to manage it. One of the things that we needed to do very early on was change the grading system. And we faced quite a lot of opposition. The packing industry did not want to change the grading system. They liked the way it was. And the government itself was not enthused about changing it. The old system, which was based on choice and good and standard meat, was, was a system that tended to encourage as much fat as possible on the animal. Most of the, of the drive for us to change that came from scientists, many of them who worked for the Government of Canada, looking at this and saying, no, this is foolish. This is not in line with what consumers now want. They do not want steak with two inches of fat on the outside. They, they're looking for much leaner product. We started to look for breeds that would produce those leaner animals, and that led to the importation of a lot of the European breeds, starting with the Charolais. We needed to then go back and we added more quality characteristics back into it along with the yield characteristics. We worked with retailers and changing consumer preferences. You know, we went from producing, you know, bone-in products that were shipped around to where you know, there's over 300 products from a single animal that are, that are packaged and, and sold in retailer around the world. And by doing that, we generated more value back in every animal we produce and we're better meeting uh, consumer requirements. As we were heading into the 80s, starting to move into the 90s especially, we worked with retailers and we we're competing actively for retail shelf space. If you have a Costco account, they're a pretty big customer and you know they need product every day of the week. There's the tight specifications that each of those customers want. So, you know, we needed to have that information and that tight grading system. And at the same time, we worked very actively on the whole genetics. If you're gonna be on the world stage, you have to, you know, produce a world-class product. Uh, you have to go talk to your customers. They're very interested in how we grow it. And increasingly so, today more than ever. There was work that we needed to do where the whole research on production efficiency, if we weren't spending money on it, there wasn't necessarily the research going to be done on it. So we went across the country and developed the concept and sold the concept of a national beef checkoff. The Quality Starts Here program started and it became the Verified Beef Plus. We became the second largest, most high quality grain fed beef producers in the world.